to this is what you want to print to PDF, right? Now, how have you decided your paper size? A4. Okay. So the first thing to do is well, you you can actually do it. Well, the, the actually, um, there is something wrong with the toolbars. So I'm going to fix them. So if I go under window, I'm um, sorry. Well, we have to go to Langworks first, and then I'll go to. Uh, I think it's tools. No, where is it? Options. Basically, what I want to do is I want to mm, toolbars. There we go. Window toolbars, and then if I click the reset toolbars button, and then that should bring that should leave the toolbars as they originally were. See? Exactly. So just remember window toolbars. And then you just click the reset toolbars button and that will reset all your toolbars. Okay. That's, that's probably better. Now, um, to get this to print, I'm going to show you the right way to do that. And it's using what it, we call layout. Okay. So we click on this layout command and then we choose this one first that it's called new layout. And then I'm just going to give it a name. So a four test, for example, or you can, you, you can, change that name if you like. We have to change the paper size to A4 because that's what we want to use. Now, A4 landscape or portrait? Like, okay, so if it's portrait, then we have to choose A4V, okay? Because that's like A4 vertical. And then we have to choose the right title block. So the right title block matching this paper size. So I'm going to click on browse and then all I need to do is to pick A4V or A4V2. It doesn't really matter, either of those. All right, so I'm going to pick this one, for example, and then I'm going to click open and then I'm going to click OK. Now you see we have this window and the, 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 top, the top view has disappeared because we are now on this window. If you want to bring that top view back, we have to go under window, tile, and that will place both windows next to each other. You see, see? Now the next step is to go back to the composed or sorry, the layout view and choose this option here that it's called add viewport. So we are, what we are going to do is we are going to create a window inside showing the top view and then working out the scale to fit on that paper size. Okay. So I'm going to try 100 and see what it does. You know what the scale is? Yes. Mm, it, no, for, forget about Forget about this print scale. That has nothing to do with, with what we are doing right now. So you just forget about that. You have to do it from like, I'm going to repeat this again. Once you get this title block here, you pick, you pick this command here, add viewport, and then we choose the top view. And that, that's the one that is normally selected by default. And then we set up the scale here. The scale is nothing, nothing more than how many times do we have to shrink this drawing to fit on that paper size. All right. So when you print this physically, if you take any measurement, it will be a hundred times smaller than the real size. Okay. That's it. That's all there is. So top view, view scale of a hundred. I click okay. And now you can see that Landworks is asking me to select the first corner. So I'm going to click roughly here. Then I'm going to click here. And look at that. Okay. Now there is a, there is a problem, not, not a problem, but there is something to do with the text. Can you see that the text is actually increasing in size? The text looks smaller here and here it looks bigger. That is because if you double click on this text or that leader, can you see that it's scaling the text? So basically what it's doing is scaling the text by the, by, by, by the, the, this scale here. So the height is seven millimeters. But because we are using a scale of one to 100, it's actually increasing that to 700. That's why we are looking at it and it's massive. So the way to fix that is to select all the text from the drawing. Okay. Well, actually it's, it's better to, 
Mm, how how would I do that? Hang on. Because you also have the the leaders. Uh, sorry, these labels inside, right? I'm going to I'm going to start just only changing these two. So in order to do that, I'm going to. Hang on, just give me a second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I'm going to select, using the shift key on my keyboard, I'm going to select both leaders here, okay? And then I'm gonna go under options, leader, and I'm just going to uncheck the scale text option. And I'm going to make sure to change the height to something like 700. So we have to actually increase the size, otherwise, the seven mil will be really, really tiny, so we won't be able to see it, all right? And then I click OK, and look, that looks much bigger, right? Which is OK, because now I can select them both, and I can go again under Options Text, and I can make sure to change that size to, for instance, 200, OK? Uh, Hang on, I don't think I, it didn't work. Options, leader. Ah, sorry, the wrong one, uh, 200. And then again, now this length, uh, the length and the height for the arrow is too small. That's why we can't see it, okay? So we might as well increase that size 40, 20, and then click OK. And look at that. That, that looks a little bit better, but you know, it's just a matter of playing with this. 4020 40, 20 might be yeah 4020 might be too small so options leader maybe we should make the text a little bit bigger so let's make it like 300 and this is going to be 200 and the height is going to be 100 see that looks a little bit better and then we, we, we probably should do the same for this text here, the, these labels. Oops, I'm actually picking up the figure and I don't want to pick the figure. So what I can do, because see, the, there we go, I can double click on that. And see, that's telling me that the height is three, but it's multiplying that by this scale. So it's like 75 mil. Okay, so to fix that, do you prefer to have it like this big or, or as you have them here? Okay, okay, well, then I'm going to leave them as they are right now, and I'm going to show you now how to print. So the way to print is to, or to, well, to print to PDF, that's what we are doing, is to make sure that we are highlighting the layout view, okay? And then don't forget that you can also enter your, your um, company's details or whatever you want here. Like for instance, it's something useful for you to use the text commands, click there, uh, I'm just going to make it like five mil and make sure that you enter the scale there. So if someone is going to have a look at this file, they know what the scale is. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that there. And then, well, again, remember, we have to make sure that we are highlighting the layout view and then I'm going under file, print preview window. from the layout view, all right? And now we have to switch to the PDF mode, which is this button here. Well, no, ah, well, this is the first step, okay? So right now we're going to switch to PDF mode. Um, we're going to change the paper size to A4V. And then uh, we have to cl uh, click on this print button. That will ask me, where do I want to save the PDF file? So I'm going to place that onto your desktop, for instance. Exactly. Exactly, and that's it. And then I save. And, and then it shouldn't take long. There we go. Look at that. That's your PDF. Now, the, the, Mac, PDF, the Mac PDF viewer is, is actually not very good. Um, sometimes it will look a little bit funny, but when you print it, or if you use Acrobat PDF or, or a Windows machine, you will see that it looks perfectly fine, or even when printing, okay? 
But this is it. This is the way you do it. It is simple, but like you said, you know, if, if you don't have any instructions, it's quite difficult to to guess, right? <laughs> uh-huh. Yes. Oh, yeah. That that's um well that's a little bit more complicated, and I'll tell you why. You have to make sure that the loop is closed, okay? Mm. Uh well, I, I'm going. I'm going to fix. Hmm. I'm going to fix that for you. Uh, let's see if I can go to the zoom commands. Now, depending on on how complex the depending on how complex the the you know the the hatching or the area is to to hatch. Hang on, this is just not not working for me now. There we go. Anyway, I'm just going to zoom in like this. We have to do a lot of things here. Actually, we have to make sure to we have to break this line in two. Okay, so I'm going to select the line first, and then I'm going to use the, where is it? I'm just trying to remember what is it on this version. Hang on. Was it around here? Because I, I want to break the line by the other line, but I just, ah, there we go, here. Trim, divide, and explode. So basically, I select the line, and then I'm going to pick um, divide by entity, and then I'm going to click here because I want to I want to break it up roughly there. Now have a look at this. I have two lines, right? I have to do the same for this one. So I select that one, then I'm going to choose this command again, divide by entity, and then I'm going to click roughly on that corner. So now, if I zoom in, you can see. That I can now, oops, I can now select this line, and 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 also this one here. So the next thing to do is to make sure that we move that and snap it back to that intersection point. And I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to make sure to snap that to that point. Okay, so that seems to be fixed, and we have to do the same on the other side. So I'm just going to zoom in. You you have to make sure to snap to the you know um the oh, all the end corners they have to touch with each other. That's what they need to do. If if passing through that same, exactly. Yeah. That that is correct. So that's the way that's the way to do it. So roughly there, and then again, we just have to make sure to move that oops, back to. I, I want to snap to that. See when I, when I see that little square, there we go. I'm snapping there, and then I'm going to do the same here. That's it. And now, hopefully. When I use the insert plane by interior position, which is here, and then that one there, and then I click inside, that should fill the area. See? And absolutely, right, right. Now that we have it, now that we have this field plane, we can double click on it, and then I can choose um, maybe a pattern field. And then I'm going to click on these three dots. And it will take a few seconds to load. Yeah, we just have to wait. No, that's okay. No, no, <laughs> no problem. And then we go to the, I have to show you where the patterns are. So you have to go to users, shared land works, and then you go to hatch patterns. 
and then I click choose and now we have to wait until you know all the patterns load here and then we can pick any of these patterns um, like I don't know for instance I'm going to pick that one and then I'm going to click OK and now remember the scale has the, the, everything is drawn a real size but if you put something too small um, it's going to slow down the computer dramatically because it has to draw every single line okay so I'm gonna try 10 times bigger like you know as, as it's coming in by default and then click OK now that's massive right so I have to double click on it again and then I just only have to change the scale to 2 something smaller and see how it looks that's it and then remember um, if I go again to window tile all the changes that we are doing here are also displaying on the on the on the layout so you don't have to do anything extra so, and then again remember when you want to print this is very important make sure that you're doing it from the layout view so you have to highlight the layout view and then just go to file print preview window okay because sometimes you might do it from here and then you go file print preview window and and then you you will <laughs> you will see where where is my title block why is not showing up and the the reason why it's not showing up is because we are actually printing the top view not the compose drawing see it's like why why is this happening there we go so I hope this helps. I hope this helps. <laughs> no problem. Do you have any anything else for me, Mark, at this point? Mm hmm Okay. Now, I, I recorded this session, so I'm going to produce this video and then send the link to you so you can have it, you know, just in case you need to revisit what we've done, okay?